Hey, my friends, more late breaking news, this time from Bishop Strickland reacting to what Pope Francis has just done. It's incredible. Today, our phones have been lighting up here at LifeSite News. Our Africa team is on this. Basically, many members of the church in Africa are so shocked, even though we've seen the sort of devolvement of the church over the past 10 years with Pope Francis, this is a new demarcation point. It's a new low, something that many people would have said absolutely can never happen. Rubrics which specifically allow for the blessings of same-sex unions. Father James Martin jumping up and down saying, hooray, hooray, that he's going to do it right away. Um, you also have then reaction from Bishop Joseph Strickland, of course, just canceled by Pope Francis from the Diocese of Tyler in Texas. He reached out uh, this morning uh, and uh, wanted to give us this comment. Thank you, Bishop Strickland, for joining us, and uh, please tell us your thoughts. Thank you, John Henry. I'm glad to make a comment about this recent document on blessing same-sex couples. We really simply need to be a united voice saying, no, we will not um, respond to this. We will not incorporate this into the life of the church because we simply must say no. And it needs to be a united voice. In history, with the kinds of issues that we're facing, a pope would call for a council. That isn't likely to happen now, but we need a united voice something like a council to address the confusion and the issues that continually arise to know the truth of Jesus Christ that is unchanging. I ask my brother bishops that we all join with a voice of strength and joy in the Lord in these last days of Advent and say no to this latest document and ask for a clarification of the true teachings of our Catholic faith. The church is the bride of Christ. Let us rejoice in being members of this mystical body, the church. God bless you. Thank you, Bishop Strickland. We do indeed need to pray for Pope Francis, for the church right now. I pray that many of your brother bishops join you in speaking out and just saying no. And uh, know that many, many of us are praying for you, loving and thanking God for your fidelity to him. And in this great time of crisis for the church, you've been freed to be a voice like almost no one else on earth. May God bless you and God bless all of you. For LifeSite News, this is John Henry Weston.